What's up everyone, instant reaction here. Nashville SC zero, Philadelphia Union three. Um, six consecutive loss for Nashville SC. Feel like a broken record, <laughs> just repeating the same thing over and over again. Um, honestly, at this point, I think you're just kind of waiting for BJ Callahan, hoping for the best. I don't know if there's much the much more Montali or anyone else can do. Um, I don't know how easy VJ Callahan's gonna find it. Um, coming into a team that has lost six in a row, finds them, themselves kind of on the lower end of the Eastern Conference. Um, yeah, I guess the only good thing of looking at this is that uh, there are so many teams in the Eastern Conference in that same bubble as Nashville SC that, you know, two, three results will really see them right back in the playoffs again, which is crazy to say, but that's how MLS is structured. Um, I think the Leagues Cup is going to be an important one, um, just in terms of uh, figuring out the best team. I think the ideal scenario for Nashville is probably to play those two first games and maybe another one uh, if they can make it through the group stage, you know, get a win or two under their belt and then, um, you know, have maybe two or three weeks for BJ Callahan to work with the team after the Leagues Cup. Um, obviously, a, a deep run would do wonders for this team, right? But... I, it's just hard to see something like that manifesting itself. So I spent most of this reaction not reacting to the actual game. I think everybody's tired of hearing about these games, so that's why I chose to do something else. But uh, if you want to know more about the game, um, Nashville did have some bright moments, but they just weren't enough to 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 score. They got kind of unlucky with the hitting the bar and and uh, Andre Blake being a really good goalkeeper. All of a sudden, again, he he had a a little bit of a dip this season, but seems like he's back uh, in that form. But at the same time, Philly could have made it four, five, six, even if it wasn't for a couple interventions from Joe Willis and the other defenders. So, all in all, another bad night for the boys in gold. We'll see what they do with BJ Callahan. He's introduced to the media on Friday. Uh, so, make sure to stay tuned so you can hear everything in Nashville. Let's see.